bem-vindos ao sul da Califórnia, onde os ricos se divertem. Aqui, a linha entre ambição e inocência simplesmente não existe. E o dinheiro compra tudo. Exclusividade dos sócios. Mulheres bonitas. E brinquedos, muitos brinquedos. Se você era inocente quando chegou aqui, você não vai ser por muito tempo. Noites repletas de luxúria, paixão, decadência e perigo. Mas a festa continua, porque viver muito nunca é o bastante. Tudo tem o seu preço, até mesmo a vida. You don't seem to get it, do you? You are merely a pawn in the scheme of things. Play the game, Stillman. Play the game. Alguns se recusaram a ser intimados, quaisquer fossem os riscos. Heaven can still be found at the paradise. You must believe in love at first sight. Do you want to fall in love? Do you want to do it? Do you want to do it? You don't know what sort of risk you could be taking. Go home. We'll get the job done. I've just been now so upset lately. I didn't know who else to talk to. Quando alguém se recusa a ser comprado, há problemas no paraíso. Thank you. 
place of peaceful beauty. Everyone has something to hide. Is my Laura taking good care of you? What are you doing? A woman who belongs to another man. Let me go! She's gonna do whatever you want, huh? A man she must escape. Sam, you've got to help me. A small-town sheriff who's in over his head. You, you can't do this! This is murder! First-degree murder! And a stranger who will change every life. My name is Brian Mars. Your new deputy. Anything wrong, Mr. Winslow? He gets between me and a deer, the gun goes off, wham! He's gone! 30 years, I never saw anything like this. Who are you? Best thing to do is just muddy the waters. Did you do it, son? You had a perfect murder, you mean planning? I didn't kill him, I was trying to stop you! <laughs> Guts. Come on, do it, Carl, arrest me! Go to pass, I just caught up with you. Good luck. Well, that's the truth. Come on, Sam! Here, in this place of peaceful beauty, the difference between guilt and innocence is how far they're willing to go. The killing time is now. de nossas reservas.
Who's there? Are you okay? Yeah. Are you sure? Why, I don't look okay? Well, you pushed the panic button. I got a little claustrophobic. It's like a coffin in there. Oh, mm, sorry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's cute. He's weird. Comes in three times a week and never gets a tan. to sleep tonight? Oh, yeah. We're, we're meeting Randy and Dr. Dave right here in the park later. Got some for you if you want to drop by later. Jeannie, make sure he doesn't drink too much of that stuff. Don't worry. We'll save you some. I'm serious, pal. I want you folks to keep your wits about you till we catch this maniac. Don't worry, honey. I'll see that he stays sober. 81 kilo. 81 kilo. Gotta go. Oh, oh. Do you drive safe now, Nikki? Please respond. 81 kilo. Natural History Museum, Nick. We got another one. Please, Nate and I worked together 10 years. I've never seen anything like that. A couple more pictures. Let me get it. What are you doing? Come on, what are you doing? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Give me this thing, give me this thing. The only way you get a good head angle is if you get down real low like this. That's it. Work with me, baby. Beautiful. Just like that, okay? Don't be squeamish. It's just a dead body. Sir, everything was secure. Doors were all locked. Alarm was still on. The guy had to fly in. Or be here already. Did you search? Got ten guys on it now. How long has Skanky been here? Ten minutes. It's hard to miss that call. Well, 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 Mr. Knight, as punctual as usual. Thought you were working the point tonight, Skanky. Well, I figured you might need some experience to help. You should think about fashion photography. Four murders in four weeks. Now, from where I stand, you ain't been doing too good, Nick. Any blood left in the body? Not much. It looks like all the others. Except all the others were homeless. Can you believe they put a guy like this on homicide? Falls apart when he sees a little hemoglobin. Didrick, who found the body? 
Come on, guys, let's hurry it up. It's after midnight. I want to go home and see my wife. This doesn't belong in the same room as the other Stella. It's pretty classic, isn't it? From the Tikal region. From the Rio Azul region, to be precise. Somebody told you. What's really scary is the first four digits up there match my alarm code. You can read it. I've done a little grave robbing in my time. That's illegal. Only in the last 40 years. As long as you or I have been alive. In this incarnation, yeah. Do I know you? I'm Detective Knight. I'm the one assigned to this mess. Elise Hunter, curator and archaeologist responsible for this mess. Not the body I Sorry, that's a bad joke. Hey, he was a good man. Yeah, I'm sure he was. You know, I know I've seen your face. Miss Hunter, where were you when the homicide occurred? Oh, uh, I was working in my office when I heard the crash. Glass case. At first, I thought one of the exhibits had fallen, and then I heard the gunshots. We heard gunshots, and you went out anyway? <laughs> I'm a very curious woman. Stupid, maybe, but curious. Curiosity is the basis of all discovery, you know. Nate was already dead when I got there. The suspect was gone? I don't see how he escaped so quickly. Especially... What could he want with his blood? Where'd you get the coffee? Watch out for my time. Here we go. Can you get the door, Frank? <laughs> the session open this time? Come on. All right, coming through. All right, let's clean up this mess and, uh... These are from Alton Canal, aren't they? Actually, these are from an entirely new site several miles north. We kept it pretty quiet. A new site? A once-in-a-lifetime find. Wait, you said there was an artifact missing from the display case. That's right, a jade goblet. It was used in sacrificial ceremonies. We unearthed it last year. Do you have a picture of it? It was extremely rare. Maybe the only one of its type in existence. I dug it up myself. You weren't afraid of the curse? You know about that? Yeah, I told you. I was a grave robber. Do you know what this cup was used for? I mean, it was a practice unique to the area. Yes, of course. It was used to drink the sacrificed victim's blood. Right, right, stand here. Here. Is this another? Come on, you guys. You're not calling that, are you? We hear there's no blood in the court. Is that true? Why the sudden interest? Is this poor guy at a job? This killer's murdering more than just the homeless. Why don't you people go home and watch David Letterman? I got work to do. Hey, Virginia, what are you guys doing about this? Something's Look, happening here. Our best people are working on this case. We're close to night. People, plural. We've well, we got something to report. We'll tell you, OK? Give us a name. regular guy gets us suddenly in some news. Yeah. Demographics, I guess. You gonna stay here for the autopsy? Huh? Uh, when you get back to the station, I wanna talk to you. Okay. Drink it. What is it? Grasshopper ears, eye of newt. What the hell do you care? Drink it. Pretty soon I'll have you up to chicken soup. Oh. oh Did you ever notice how you could take the simplest little action, like drinking a cup of tea, and you make it into a big theatrical production? <laughs> it's easy for you to say. <laughs> How's your tanning coming? I'm up to 10 minutes. Ooh, macho man. How do I look? Mm, like a bronze god. Oh, this one's different. Aside from his profession and personal hygiene, but you already knew that. Well, blood loss is the same, right? Yeah, he had his blood pumped out like the others. Well, so how's he different from the pattern? The others were sharp, clean slashes, weren't they? Yeah. You're not holding out on me, are you? Uh, two, two nombres, senorita. 
So, it's 3 a.m., right? I'm on the line to the mayor. Come on, we have an agreement. Yeah, yeah. Wait, you think he's up watching MTV? Listen, the stakes have gone up here, Ned. I work the night shift, and I work it alone. That was the deal. Not this time. Listen, I got four bloodless bodies sitting in the morgue, and nothing, nothing to go on. Three of the victims are homeless. Yeah, and the guy tonight had a job. The victim profile is expanding. This maniac could be after anybody. And you know what's worse? That Mayan cup that got stolen? Do you know what they used that for? Yeah, I know what they used it for. It's unbelievable. How do you expect me to keep a lid on this with this vampire crap? Listen, Nick, this case can't be yours alone. You want to work at nights, that's fine. You want to work alone nights, that's fine with me. On the Murphy case, the Hudson killing, listen, you're solo on those. That is fine with me. But this investigation is not going to stop when the sun comes up. Am I getting true to you? So who's it going to be? I wanted to give you somebody with experience. Who? He's a day guy now. His name wouldn't happen to be... Oh! Well, howdy. Partner. Shoot me. Come on, Nick. Put it away. Take him up on it.
Uh, you going to be all right here tonight, Dr. Hunter? Harry, if not, you'll be the first to know. Fails and misty streets are blue. So silken moment goes on forever. Mystify, mystify. Uh, this is the least hunter. I'm going to be doing some research on that jade mystify. vessel tonight. Look, if you want to call or drop by later, maybe I'll have something more on it. Your favorite forensic pathologist wants you to eat something this evening. You need a Jewish mother. I already got one. Are you finished yet? Almost. Well, hurry up, hurry up. Take your time, take your time. Oh. All right. So what flavor am I? AB positive. Oh, is that good? Well, you can take anything but motor oil. <laughs> motor oil, I like that. My wife, she's a universal donor, I think. Oh, too bad. How so? Well, anybody can take O negative, but O negatives can't take anything else. Gotta be O? O negative. Positive? What's that? Garlic. Garlic? My wife says it builds a blood, but you gotta eat it raw. Watch this, watch this. Hey, partner, partner. Oh, what is this something I said? Is it my bread? I'm allergic to garlic. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry. Captain wants us to ride together tonight, kind of uh, set things up to the fat. Jack wants us down at the lab. It's just for one night that I'm back on day shifts. Hey, maybe you should hit this guy up for some blood, huh? I had a cheeseburger, too, with large fries and a shake. I mean, these night shifts. I mean, in my head, I know I'm supposed to be having breakfast, but who can eat ham and eggs at 7.30 at night, right? <laughs> <laughs> Don't look at me. Would you please put out your cigarette? What'd you find? Silk threads, black and very old. I found them under the guard's fingernails. I also discovered an anomaly. Oh, an anomaly, huh? <laughs> in the way the man died. All of the victims were alive when the jugulars were severed. That's how the blood was pumped out. I was wondering about that. Now, each of the first three victims showed signs of strangulation and, I believe, were unconscious when the incision was made. But this guard, I mean, his eyes weren't dilated. His thoracic region was all unbruised. I'll bet dollars to donuts he was fully conscious when he was being emptied. No, I don't buy that, Jack. Um, it's doctor. Right, Doc. Uh, the guy was a guard. He had to put up a struggle. Hmm? Yeah, that's what one would normally think. You know, maybe he was hypnotized. Maybe uh, he was, uh, that's it. Maybe he was a member of some sort of cult. You know what I mean? You don't know what I mean, because you have no sense of history. 
Back in the 60s, they had a lot of strange cases like this, you know, cults, and they were always solved by finding the common link. Now, what are our common links? We have uh, the blood missing, the homeless. Guard wasn't homeless, skanks. Maybe he was killed by another guy. Copycat killings, they do happen. OK, that's stupid, but don't go slamming any doors. You know, I've been around the block. You should listen to experience here. I know of what I speak. This thing is not going to be solved with a lucky guess. Hey, not in my caddy, OK? Why don't you drive a nice, clean city car, a box that I can smoke in? We all know you're Joe Cool, Knight, but this Trunk is... Space. Trunk space. Trunk space? Yeah, 1959 Cadillac had more trunk space than any car built in the last 30 years. Trunk space? Well, I knew that. That's better for me anyway. My wife's tried 50,000 times to get me to quit. Do you realize she hides these things every morning before she makes breakfast? How long have you been married? Seven years. Man, that must feel good to wake up with a woman every morning. There's no woman we're talking about. That's my wife. Nicotine. It's an addiction, you know. Man, oh, man, addictions are hard to give up. Yep. We all got our addictions. Attention, all units in the vicinity of Echo Park. Shots fired at the pool. Suspect is armed and dangerous. Possible hostage situation. All units report immediately. What are we? What are we? 81K. 81 kilo. We're on it. Our backup's here. Sounds like drugs to me. We're going in. Ignite! Experience has played the exits. Then play them! Take care of the cold and the kid. Night, 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 night. The bulls already bulged you. I mean, you got seven accommodations last year alone. You really want this? Yeah, I'll for a promotion next week. Go. Oh, no, Paul. Make this easy. man, or she's dead. Come on. Don't be stupid. Let her go. You found her! That's it. Let's call it a night. We got enough ice cream. Yeah, if you ain't drinking. Oh, dry as a bone. Never understand that way. Sorry. <laughs> My friends are 
like uh, same thing. So yeah. same thing goes for me. You were in the hospital. Yeah, right. It's only a shoulder wound, lost a little blood. Okay, okay, speak. The perp said it was a flying monster or something. A vampire. That's what he said. Vampire. I swear, the press has everybody in this town hallucinating. A vampire? Please. The perp had been smoking crack for 72 hours. He was incoherent. Don't shoot me. I'm just some messenger. You saw Knight go after him, right? Wasn't that what I said? Then it had to be Knight who got him. Right? Excuse me, sir, but if it had to be night, then where the hell is he? Smoke. Bodies of the Indian workers could be found the next morning, completely drained of blood. You okay? Yeah, it's just after last night. I'm a little jumpy. Something wrong? No. No. Why are you wet? Oh, I took a dip. All in a night's work, you know? Well, what did you do to your jacket? Are those bullet holes? Uh, yeah, it used to belong to a drug dealer. He got hit by an Uzi. I wear it as a kind of reminder. A reminder? Yeah, my mortality. A little light reading, huh? Research. Altoon Canal. Come. 
The first dig was abandoned because the Indian laborers were being killed at night. They believed it was by vampires. <laughs> Such their blood. You're kidding. I know, it sounds incredible, but apparently they were searching for a pair of goblets like the one we had stolen. Sacrificial goblet. Right, they found one, but abandoned the dig before they could find the other. Don't you see the murderer may have had one already and stolen ours to make the pair? What are you, a detective now, Dr. Hunter? Elise, Officer Knight. Nick. They say everything in our future can be found in our past. Past is the only dead thing that smells sweet. Edward Thomas. <laughs> Do you feel that way too, Nick? No. It's too easy a place to hide. Is that what you think I'm doing? Aren't you? I mean, you're burying your head in books and artifacts and dust. You lock yourself up here and work all night. I like the night. No people. No present. No future. It's my life. My passion. I'm comfortable with it. Don't be. Well, on yesterday, and you have no today and no tomorrow. Another quote? Voice of experience. <laughs> you haven't lived that long. I'm working on it. Hmm. God. It's so good when you hold me. I was actually scared today before you came in. Hello, Nick. Doctor Hunter. Harry. Are you okay? I'm not sure. Maybe. Nick? Where's Nick? Well, I figured you'd show up here. Give me the keys. You know, I forgot how these things drive, Doc. I'm talking smooth like a rolling condominium. I'm Sunrise. 545-6. How much I got to do with anything? when you disappear like this. Brunetti starts twitching. You've got to stop drinking this. Oh. Is this the same guy that came begging to me to help him change so that he could see a sunrise? Why? I mean, I've been doing what you've been saying for months. So I can choke on a bit of hamburger? See a sunrise? I can't even spend 10 minutes in a tanning bed. Give me the bottle. No. Everything I do is wasted when you drink this stuff. It's the blood that keeps you from coming over. I am what I am. And I don't think Betty Ford takes vampires. You could be human. Human? What's more human? To drink a little animal blood now and then or to commit murder? Neither. You bastard. And you did both. Don't you use that on me. I'm repaying my debt. I caught a killer tonight. And you couldn't have caught him without the vampire. Who cares how I did it? You do. Get out. Oh, well. That is a major change in attitude. Excuse me. You don't want help. I'm just a dot on the horizon. 
Go back to your TV sunrise. I'll go catch the real thing. Will you stop? You know, you could go public with this. Do quite well. Bloodsuckers as public servants, live on Geraldo. No, he's probably already done it. Nick, I'm sorry to keep calling, but after what happened tonight, I think we ought to talk. Will you call me, please? Is that the curator at the museum? You have no idea what it's like to live all these years. And watch those you love grow old and die one by one. And never have a real relationship with a woman. What happened last night? I kissed her. And I nearly killed her. Nick, don't you think it's time we talked about the others? It was this Lacroix who was killing the Indians at Altoon Canal. Yeah, he wanted to keep me from getting the other goblet. He did then, he still does. Lacroix, my master. The vampire that brought me over. It's like a brotherhood. We have the same blood in our veins. He wants to keep it that way. Mmm, mmm. Including stealing this from a museum and killing a guard. Yeah. Came in through the skylights. The only way in, I did it tonight. It's him. He believes that by doing this ceremony, you can become mortal. We both do. Turn the lights out when you leave. We are going to get some sleep. What about the street people? He killed the guard at the museum to get the cup, the Indians to halt the dig. That still doesn't explain why he'd be killing these homeless people. Because they were always out praying. Nobody notices, nobody cares when they're missing. Never bothered Lacroix. You can never understand why I stopped killing. So he follows me from city to city and from century to century, obsessed with keeping me in the darkness. These murders are his way of calling me out, Jack. His way of getting to me. problem of keeping the Indians at work with the mystical properties said to be possessed by the goblets themselves. Many European occultists believe that the Mayan ceremony where the blood of the sacrificed victim was poured from goblet to goblet and swallowed by the high priest could in fact be the cure for vampirism. It was only natural that the Indians believed there were vampires in their midst. Anybody seen Jeannie and Topper? Got two bucks for him. Hit by a blunt object on the head, yeah. probably knocked unconscious prior to the jugular incision. No two punctures this time? An incision. Where's singular. Jeannie? I mean, she never left top for alone. Diedrich, anything? Nothing on the west side. Who saw him last? The old man. Where was he? Up by 6th Street around noontime yesterday. Usually find some neat up there at the burger barn. Were they together? They're never apart. I knew something was wrong. 
when they didn't show up for the blood drive. Wait, 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 wait. They were collecting blood here today? Yeah, they're here every Thursday. Give a little, you get a little. Do something to help a sick person. You hear that night? What's the matter? Jack, I should have put him up. What, are you going to put up all the street? This is my fault. This is all my fault. you got to stop blaming yourself. OK, blood drives, homos. I think there's a connection here, right? Their blood's missing. Excuse me, you work the day shift, am I right? What's that got to do with that? Work it out in your own time. They all gave. What's his problem? I don't think you want to know. No, I want to know. If you like, I'd heard you were in town. Three years. Wasn't it Chicago before? There's time. The Dorian Gray syndrome. Although, if I'd known they were going to install lights at Wrigley Field. I hate the baseball. Another thing to come between us. Poor Jean-Pierre. So look as soon as we see. Love you. Oui. Je pense que cela me rappelle un peu Paris. Les hommes. La musique. Ça dépend de ce que c'est que vous voulez dire. Non. Ils étaient tous excellents et Paris. The light's dark. I'm the owner. And I find I can mix it with a little wine. Would you like some? That's right, you're probably on duty. I know so many people. What's your name this time? Nikki something? Where is he, sir? He hasn't been making these kills, if that's what you think. Nowadays, no one's that stupid. Where? <laughs> Always the gentleman. Filthy habit. At least I know it won't kill me. I'd be careful if I were you. He's very disappointed. Lights me up. One more day. The streets make What are you doing here? We have to talk. 
Why are you staring at my chest? Why are they staring at my neck? What are you doing? I followed you. What? From the park. I heard about the murder on the radio. I figured you'd be there, so. Get out of the car. No. I'm on police business. I'll ride shotgun. No, you won't. Come on, move it, buddy. Get out. It's dangerous. This has something to do with vampires, doesn't it? Nick, you got a secret you'd like to share with me? Tell me something. Do you do all your reading in supermarket checkout lines? Well? Well, what? I went through a pint of ice cream and two bags of chips the other night trying to find this. Is this you? Yeah, it looks like me. Even the scar on your chest is the same. And it must be me. It was taken in 1889. There must be someone that looks like me. Right, who knows about the goblet, who can read glyphs, who can disappear in the middle of the museum in 10 seconds flat. Are you losing it or what? Everybody in the world's got a double. My uncle's a dead ringer for Morton Downey Jr. While that may make him miserable at times, it does not make him a vampire. Am I making a complete fool of myself? I got out of the museum the same way the murderer did, through the back rooms and into the basement. Lifts and the goblets, pure NYU. God, I like call myself a scientist. Legends are seductive. We want to believe them. It's like good gossip. But I did want to believe it, Nick. What, that I was a vampire? Well, think about it. How incredible to be an archaeologist, a, a historian, and have a, have a living first-hand connection to the past. There you go again. Living in the past. I guess I do. Isn't there anything about the present you like? Nick, about last night. Hey, chemistry just went a little, you know. I was talking too much. Hey, it's history. It's in the past. Okay. It's just you and me. You know. In the caddy. You don't let me stay? Where's your car? Back at the club. Nightcrawl is bringing you a little lead on KTDE. Metal for the ages. Three weeks in this town, and I still haven't seen my old friend. <laughs> Where do they dig up this guy? It's been such a long time. We have a lot to catch up on. This next set is dedicated to you, Jean-Pierre. The Nightcrawler's waiting for you. I know you're out there. Where are you? They say I'm crazy. Listen to me. Keep it tuned to this station. If you hear anything weird or I'm not out in 20 minutes, pick up this radio, see 81 Kilo needs backup at this address. Wouldn't it be better if we just call them now or at least introduce me to the person I'll be talking to? Just stay in the car, okay?
talk over a midnight snack. Why? Where is it? Without any kind of a hello. <laughs> it's a long time, John Pierre. Imagine all the trouble I went through to find you. I guess it would be more appetizing. A goblin. I think you know what you want. You never have. Immortality. That's a bet you big wish. To live forever. Never have to wind up like this. <laughs> but I gave that to you. And what did I get? Contempt. Hate. I couldn't kill him. Who has to kill? You do. <laughs> A guard? Yes. But not those pathetic others. This is the 20th century. That's not the way things are done. You're lying. It's the truth. They were my friends. And what are we? We need to trust each other. We should trust each other. It's the longest friendship. I want the goblet. just how much you want to be mortal. It's a simple choice. A classic. Which one do you want to save? The goblet? Or the girl?
Santos reports. I'll get them. So don't make me look bad. Do you got it? Yes. This is Elise Hunter, Detective Nightmare. Uh, Night? Uh, no, ma'am, he hasn't checked in. Well, when he does check in, would you tell him Elise called? Yes, ma'am, I will. Thanks. You're telling me that nobody has seen Nick or talked to him since he walked out of the park? I was asleep, sir. You guys sure took an interesting spot for me. Captain, I brought by the report on the park killing. I think Knight was working on a lead. Yeah. Well, I'm just praying I can make it sound better than that to the mayor. Blood you know? dries, blood dries, blood dries. What were the victim's blood types, doctor? Yes. Well, each of the homeless were type O negative, but... I'm telling you, that's the key, the type O, the homeless, wait, the blood wait, drives. What about the guard? The guard was type AB. Captain. Traffic found Detective Knight's car illegally parked. They impounded it. Huh. Okay, we got the keys. I'll send somebody down. Yes, sir. Nobody's listening. Nobody's listening to me. All of a sudden, Knight's this big, experienced hotshot. And I'm telling you, he has no experience. Don't get me wrong, I like the guy. He looks good in leather. Between you and me and the lamppost, the guy is in the dark about a few things. It's a cult thing. It's got to be a cult thing. I'm telling you, it's a weird, weird world we live in, my friend. Oh, would you listen to that baby purr? Oh, that takes me back to... 1973 in Chicago, Illinois. <laughs> a buddy of mine had one of these things. We used to cruise north up Lakeshore Drive all the way to Waukegan. Know what I mean? No, nah, you don't know that. Is that it, pal? Yeah, that's it, that's it. Dispatch 81 Kilo. I'm going to tool around in Knight's Caddy. Let me know if he turns up, OK? for it. At least I can do some cataloging. Blood bank. The police. When will they be? I must talk to Dr. Dangley before I release any information to you. One kilo, code six, city hospital, blood bank. You think this is fake? I'm a cop. You can't give me access to the computer? Not without Dr. Dantley's approval.
I am just trying to make some connections here. Could you at least tell me if any of the victims donated blood? Dr. Danley will be back, back at, at six. six. Right, right. Thank you very much. Very much. Fenner, my man, could you please tell this woman that I'm a good guy, that I donated some AB blood the other day? He's one of our regular donors. See? There, there. The information is confidential. I'm sorry. Yeah, right, thanks. Are those old uh, Cadillac keys? Yeah, 59 Ragtop, a classic. Did you know that the 59 Caddy has more trunk space than any other car made in the last 30 years? Really? How's the mileage? With a ride like that, who's counting, huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, could you just get this Danley guy on the phone for me? We're this close to catching the murderer. Sorry. Jack, it's Nick. That's a long story. Hey, listen, who said Skanky could ride around in my car? Brunetti, there was nothing I could do. There's no run in the check in the blood bank. Get this. Skanky was right. All the homeless victims were blood donors, all negative. off the museum guard, but the guy that's doing the killings is still on the street. You sound weak. Can you eat something? Are you kidding? Hospital food? Call you later. Is Dr. Danley on the PGA tour? I'm a detective with Skanky from the police department, and I've been looking for him for a while. And uh, you can't help me. Hey!
kill me. You're a skank, if only you knew. Hey, don't give me that attitude. You think I did it on purpose? And when you're filling out the report, spell the name right. It's Skanky. S C H A N K E. Come on, let's get out of here. Detective Knight, please. I'm sorry he's not here. Can I take a message? No, thanks. I'll call back. I'm either in bed or incommunicado, so if you want to leave your name and number, just wait for the beep. Hey, what do you use for brains? Right front fender, total. Quarter panel, total. Door, total. Rear panel, total. Fender, bumper. And this trunk. Look at this. This thing's mushed so tight we'll have to torch it open. You're exaggerating, right? Hey, you find me another caddy. Maybe in some junkyard I might be able to help you out. Otherwise, you got two tons of scrap metal here. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, he's gonna kill me. He's gonna kill me. Worse still, he's gonna make me pay for it. Skanky. I'm dead. Honest to God, I, I was on my way back to the station, but the hospital's were on its way, so I said, why not? I might as well just go to... This kills me now. It kills me more than it kills you. Brakes fail. On their own, I swear it. I've had four police driving courses. I know how to stop a car. They were cut. They were cut? By who? By the one we're looking for. Seems you're all right, Skanky. I was right. Museum murder was a different killer. He was? He had blood drives in the homeless. They were the keys all along. Well, I knew that. I know. Does that mean you're not angry about the car? No. I am mad about the car. I guess I owe an apology about the case. What? I said, I guess I owe you an apology about the case. <laughs> well, I accept it. Good. Hey, hey, you okay, man? You look like death warmed over. You all right? Oh, man. Oh, I'm just a bit weak. I'm hungry, that's all. I got some jerky. You're kidding. Let's get back to the hospital. Hey, listen, jerky's not bad. It sort of stimulates the rope. Victims are all regular blood donors, O negative, and they all use the mobile units. Well, who told you that? Dr. Danley. <laughs> oh, the mystery Dr. Danley? Anything there's on Jeannie? No, nothing. Hey, listen, between you and me, what was your car doing in South Park last night? Anybody report anything weird up there this morning? No, why? Uh, Elise and I had a lead on the stolen goblet. <laughs> we were up there with it. The... Elise? You were with Elise last night? Listen, Nick, between you and me, is something going on with you and Elise? Come on. Dr. Hunter? Yeah. 
It's none of your business. Well, I have my answer. I got my answer. <laughs> Nick? If you're trying to scare me again, you're doing a pretty good job. access to the blood donor records. Yeah, blood bank staff, physicians, hospital administrators. Well, that narrows the field a bit, doesn't it? Okay. Anybody coming in and out of here this afternoon while Detective Skanky was here? Yeah, there were a few nurses. Dr. Simmons popped through. Are you all right? He's just hungry. You should have something to eat, Mike. I'm okay. I'm all right. Are you sure? Yeah, just give me a minute. I think the guy we're looking for is like a janitor or an orderly, someone that wears their keys on their belt. Keys. Let me check my logs. Yeah, have them ring the bell. No, please, just hurry. Oh, it's cold in here. The ambulance should be here any minute now. No. No hospitals. You need help. He'll be there. Who? Oh. Yeah, he was asking a lot of questions about the caddy, but how did you know about the keys, huh? Huh? My secret. No, 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 no. We have no secrets. Jack Fenner. He's a wonderful man. Yeah, a real regular guy, Nick. Anything happened to him this year? Any kind of trauma might have put him over the edge? He's been in counseling. For what? He lost his mother. How? Car accident. Well, not really. That's the problem. She lost a lot of blood in the car accident and needs several pints. We always test her blood, but I guess some of the blood she received was infected with hepatitis. That's what she died from, the hepatitis? Mr. Fenner blames himself for letting it slip through. I bet you she was O negative. I bet you she was. What has that got to do with it? Well, you see, O negative is a universal donor but can only receive O negative blood. Some of the blood came from street people. I mean, regulars that he knew. Maybe he might blame them as well as himself. Maybe he'd see to it that they could never donate again. Detective Knight, I want to put out an APB. I'll be with you. I won't leave until Nick gets there. Ambulance? Take the elevator. It's on the second floor. I just want to check my machine. Oh, my wife's gonna kill me, Nick. She's... Look at they got bagels. Great. Where are you? Can you please check in with me? I'm getting nervous. Nick? Nick? Elise, what are you doing there? Looking for you. Where are you? How'd you get in? The Mayan numbers on the Stella. Huh. Very clever. Someone named Jeannie's here. She's alive. Apparently, the guy that beat her up left her for dead. She knows who's doing the murders. Did you call an ambulance? Yeah. They're on the way now. OK, if the paramedic thinks she's stable, don't move her. I'll be right there. Hang on. The guy's here now. Wait a minute. There's your stuff. Don't you have a medic bag? No. Who are you? Hey, hold, 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 hey! You 
want to tell me how you're going to get there? Then he flew out of here. I had to kill Tom. Where's Elise? Can you make it to the elevator? I think so. Go. Spikes can't kill a vampire, but fire can. <laughs> Is the time you came out? I don't think he'll come through the fire. Nick. When you get him to the other side of the room, let you run to the door. You look weak, Jean-Pierre. When was the last time you fed? I don't think you have the strength to change. Do you? You don't have blood. No. That's a wonderful offer, Jean-Pierre. Take her. Make her one of us.
She wanted to live forever. So did you. It's very seductive. The idea of never dying. Never being able to love someone. Is that seductive? Uh, she had no idea. Uh, at least in the choir, they're the lucky ones. So you don't mean that. Is that why you want to become mortal, so that you can die? Or do you want the experience of living and loving like a human being again? I don't know if that'll ever happen. You know, we're so close. Listen, uh, are there any other objects or rituals that might help? Well, there's a rumor that a goblet was sold into a private collection. Well, keep looking. You really think you can bring me over? I don't know. Eating. Well, 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 well. Fancy meeting you gentlemen here. Allow me to present to you the keys to a 1959 Cadillac in cherry condition. Little did I know I have a third cousin in the auto body business. Relatives do come in handy, partner. Partner? Oh, Brunetti thought it would be a good idea. It's a good idea. Yeah. After all, I did save Nick, right, Jack? I mean, Doctor. One way to put it. I uh, did put the hospital lead together, the blood bank stuff, major contributions. Major. OK, OK, so why do I think somebody's holding out on me here, huh? What do you mean? Well, OK, I understand about Fenner. He thinks he killed Jeannie. She's AB negative, so he didn't drain her blood. I got that. But what about Fenner himself? What about him? Well, if he was the guy that was draining the blood, then why was two pints missing from his body when we found him? Evaporation. No, 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 I don't buy that. Absolutely. From the heat of the fire. Okay, okay. I buy that. I buy that. Well, those cigarettes. Fastest way into a coffin, huh, Nick? Only one of them, anyway. You guys are starting to sound like my wife. I am trying to quit. I'm trying. Don't give me that look. You have no idea what it's like to live with an addiction. You don't. So, what do you think of the car, huh? Third cousin's name is Rudy, Rudy Skanky. He's in Van Nuys. He is great. I'm telling you, Michelangelo works in marble. Rudy works in Bondo. He's got everything he wants. He's an artist. He's a man. I'm telling you, guys. He's a My É com 
Turismo. Consciência de preservação de nossas reservas. Vale, vale, vale.